Plains Games with Jay. Okay, let's go investigate these other areas. We got three locations to check out. We're gonna have to go to the hospital, or some hotel. A lot of different places to go. Mm-hmm. Where do you want to go? Man, this... Uh, what? It's a long case. Yes. It's a long game. Long game. Oh, man. All right. <clears throat> Uh, talk to Chiaki. I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Okay. Soda? Hey, you prepare, you prepare that surveillance camera unit, right? Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from that shady looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? Uh, no, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as a part, part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. If I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its own broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interview with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. Uh -huh. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use that. You're right. You did work on that. Okay. Just want to like double check the camera then. Okay. It's possible broadcast with this. Hey Hachime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? Oh, I also want to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for our household functions. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now, but the whole display was pretty dark because they were, they were just using candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Mbuki. She walked straight to the stepladder, and without any hesitation, she climbed that stepladder on her, of her own free will, and then she grabbed a rope, and that's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have snuffed out or something like because the screen went dark all of a sudden, and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. Ah, hold on. Yigiari, at the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp was uh, Buki, right? Yeah. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try and stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, of her, on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Hmm... Hmm... Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Yeah. I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck, she ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking, but did she seem a little upset? Okay. Let's see. 
There's Akane. Phew. I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Hajime, help me with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No, thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> Hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might, as well, I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. If I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unix unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Oh, hi, Manji. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross! Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikan back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. Okay, let's... This was Ibuki's room, so I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I was like, let me go to check out the room, but never mind. Oh, that was weird. I never seen Zoom. I never seen going upstairs before and knocking around foot. Uh okay. What the heck is happening there? There's no doll, is there? That's the on call room and this is the conference room. Okay. What's this? It's pitch black and I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? <laughs> Don't turn it on. Huh? D Chiaki, are you there? <laughs> if you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. W what's fully exposed? <laughs> hey, Hajime. If you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sounds of currents being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. And I saw if Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. I got it. Got what? The currents in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. There's a projector in here, so they were probably w uh, careful about lighting sh uh, light shining through. See? A pr black curtain that blocks light and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So is something wrong with it? I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about it being embarrassing if I look and troll fail? I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Hmm, are you sure? But if they says I'm done, I guess I'm done. Hmm, are you sure you're done? For a different reason? Oh my god, is there- is there- is there- Hold on. <laughs> is there a fucking doll in here? Where are you? There's no doll in here. Wait! <laughs> there's no doll in here! Yeah, there's no doll in here! Okay. Just making sure. We don't need to check the on-call room, right? Or maybe we can go in here. This is a room for patients. It looks more like an on-call room for hospital staff. Okay, this is the only on-call room. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're like this. There must be used people right here. She said, what the heck is going on with this island? Okay. <laughs> just imagine Fuyuhiko just be like, and that's where him and Mikan totally fucked. Yeah, they were and, fucking. You know, just like, no. Uh, 
Let's go to... Hold on, let's check on pet. Clean your shit. Let me give you another ramen. Here you go. I'm about to get ramen. Okay. Now I am not in despair. Okay. Um, let's go to the theater. Go outside. Uh huh. Oh, oh yeah, I can only go. So. It's the theater and the motel, right? So. Why, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. You just said I shouldn't. Hey, manager, a customer's here. Yes, did you call me? Huh? Hajime's the customer? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> and you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sundere Hajime looks like, then you're really a tough guy. You were so devoted to being Sundere, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million. Whatever, Baka. You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? It's nothing. In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it. But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See, it's this one. I'm sorry, I was bored, stupid. You bought this for $1.5 million? <laughs> but in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Okay, here you go. It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Then I'll go prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Ah, uh, Hajime, about that invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. Okay. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes preparations. Okay. Can I get some popcorn? It's a FUD shop. Okay. That is video game that we are not playing. Okay. Is there a fucking Monokuma doll around here? Do I just, can I just go straight to the theater? Oh. Hold on, I'm still in the middle of preparing. Don't rush, don't rush. HC boys get hated, you know. They might even get hated by boy bears too, you know. You can hate me all you want. It's only on a fucking movie trailer, man. What the fuck kind of theater is this? <laughs> you came all this way not to watch it? Your Sundere knows no limits. It's just like me to make Hajime so prickly. I went behind in a past where I was once known as a prima donna of the mascot world. You definitely weren't called that. It's about time you showed your dead ass side, you know. Come on, liven yourself up a little. So, wait for a bit, okay? Hajime, I can't believe you bought that thing. And you paid $1.5 million for it, too. Are you in despair, Nagito? God. <laughs> but even you said you should have just said you should have just settled it with money to get out of seeing that movie. You're right, but that means I would have had to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone. Gross. What am I supposed to Just look at everything till things are done? Reminds you of an item. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. Tote bag! Then sticker. Tote bag is gone. That means... Whoa there! Were you interested in buying that tote bag? Well, that's just too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? 
Stupid! There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that reveals who the killer is. So the killer bought it? Ah! ah! I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Uh-uh. It's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Okay. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. <laughs> this is exciting, exciting! Movie time. It's a nice theater. Huh. But there's a naughty bear and this movie sucks. Spray painted on the side. Bah! Um, I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a feeling, a bad feeling about this 2.5D. That sounds so half-assed. Now then, please relax and enjoy the film. Oh god, what are we gonna see? <laughs> what the? Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. Okay. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. Mm -hmm. And was whisked away to Monomi's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard Monomi, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monomi scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monomi scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monomi lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a Monomi tin man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monomi, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monomi. <laughs> okay. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. Wow. The end. And he lived happily ever after. The end. It's a, it's a wonderful movie. That was a movie. Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues. One for each head. Like oh, dick. Boy. Now then, let's meet again at the class trial. Goodbye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. I'm too disgusted to even let us sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe the situation. How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters who were killed in the movie matches the victims in this case. Ibuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death in the movie. Not just that, but Hiyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death, too. It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. <laughs> Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now? Or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but I'm not sure if that's even true. 
Okay. Weird. Very weird. I run over. And we just gotta go to the motel, right? So. Oh, bad. I just remembered. I never went inside any of the rooms at the motel. What? The mic's gonna pick all, pick up all of that. What are you talking about? It does. Just wanna try a little bit? Yeah, you're allowed to. It's a cookie dough brownie, bitch. Okay. Take a break. How is it? I haven't. You're looking at me. It's not in my mouth yet. Pretty good. Okay. I just remembered. I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might be faster just to ask someone. Uh, oh yeah, Gundam would know. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? Hold on. I'm, Gundam is eating a brownie right now. Oh yeah, God, Gundam looks really good. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> have you had this yet? No, I haven't. Well, I'm eating the cookie dough brownie from Little Caesars. Can I try one? Sure, try it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Grab a little bit. We're doing a little food review, a little bonus food review yeah, for you guys. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty good, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. It's really important to the investigation. Mmm. Yeah, so the the cookie dough had it's like shut up, gun. <laughs> okay, I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Yoko staying in? Open the door to the center room. However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear. And you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? The exact same way. Uh, center? Hyoko's room. There we go. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Looks like it's locked, but... The key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this... It opened, just as I thought. This key was Hyoko's room key. All right, I should go inside. Um, boom, boom. Okay. So Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but I feel conflicted. Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. I see. What? Did something happen? Also, how the hell did you get in here? No, it is just... I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Is there a fucking bear in here? I see you, you fucker! Hello! You're a fucker. Thanks for the coins, bitch. The moment Hiyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Her kimono. Her kimono? Mm -hmm. Um, yesterday I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then, I saw it. Hyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiru is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She... Uh, nope. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. That Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wants to be able to tie her sash on her own. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it. 
especially since Mahiru taught her. I, I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Uh, Hyoko, uh, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? S stupid What are you saying? Of course I can do it! B because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. And that was when she kicked me out. Could it be Hiyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Hmm, I can see that happening. Hiyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by, abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? I, I never told this to anyone. Now is the time in any movie where you pull out a gun and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell anyone? And I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Also, Sonia, how did you get in this room? <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't asked at all. It's a mirror. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Nothing suspicious. I feel like I couldn't find any clues. Okay, well... Wasn't the last place to check? Oh, oh no. Right, yeah. It's the Hope Motel Hospital in the movie theater. What was the fourth Try thing? Try exiting this place. Okay, so no, there's still stuff here. I gotta talk to Fuhiko then? Hey, how'd you make? Can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. The Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met with uh, met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue... You met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall, Gundam. Oh, and Monomi. Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Oh, b -b body! Yeah! <laughs> Besides Shiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monomi. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That that might be it, but while we're at it, let me tell you my let me tell you that let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? No, we went to the movie theater in that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hiyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true. I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But... The fact that Hyoko, uh, is the fact that Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body. What? You still doubt me? Well, I'm used to it. It's true I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. I want you, uh, want to know in advance what I have to do to end up like that. Okay. Dong, bing, bong. As I figured, in good timing, too. Time for a trial next time. Here we go.
But here we go. Here we go. Arnold. 